Yesterday, very many people were shocked when Muhoz Kainugaba, who is also, by the way, the first son, disrespected the Chabazinga of Busoga and the entire Busoga kingdom. This came when he stood up to give a speech during the royal wedding which was held yesterday. We all know there are various people who were uh, invited to give a speech to the audience which was uh, which was in attendance uh, during this ceremony. It, it further showed how General Mohoz Kenugaba is oblivion of our of our culture and norms, but also how his handlers know nothing when it comes to Uganda. So in this episode, I've come to talk about why when Mohoz Kainugaba disrespected the Chabazinga of Usoga and the entire Usoga kingdom, what it means for our culture, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagali. There is a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Rashid Seguja, a political prisoner who has been in cancellation for more than three years. So we all know that yesterday it was the royal wedding of the Busoga kingdom. It is ever since we got our independence, it was the second wedding to be held in this kingdom since uh, Wako Moloki did his. During the speech of General Mohozka in Urugaba, he went out uh, to disrespect the kingdom either knowingly or unknowingly. But also, if you notice how he gave a speech, part of the speech was written. It, it further shows how bad General Mohozka in Ugaba is in speeches. I've done several videos on, on, on this, showing how inept General Mohozka in Ugaba is. Even for a simple wedding meeting, he had to get a speech which is written for him. Okay, But that is not my point. My main point of contention. My main point of contention is during this speech, he went on to dis disrespect the king of Busoga by telling him to come and pick the cows from his farm. In our cultural norms, this is not acceptable. Before I speak on this, let me first give you the tape when he's doing this. Here is the tape. Awasoka Murio. Murio. Kodeo Bana. Wherever mm. Lekfuna Mama, he is also a very progressive person. He has a lot of ideas for his kingdom and for the country. And we usually share quite a bit together. The other things I can discuss about him but maybe in his own time he will he will reveal them if he if he wants to um i will end by on or uh, by saying that on behalf of my wife charlotte who accompanied me and our family we would like to give his majesty and the queen 10 cows from our farm in our culture of the Banyankore if a friend gives you a cow he now graduates from being a friend to 
part of the family. So, when you're ready, Your Majesty, please come and receive your cows. Thank you very much. So, that is Jenom Hozka in Ogaba. First of all, in our norms, you cannot tell a person who is high in rank than you to pick something from him. It is like telling your dad, come and, 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 and pick this plate when you are sitting. In our culture norms, it is abominable. So in society, our kings are taken as the highest individual in Uganda. You cannot tell the king to come and pick something. In fact, in the Buganda kingdom, it was even... In fact, if the king comes in your house and you serve food, it is him who has served. That is how it was taken a step further in the Buganda kingdom. So, according to the norms and culture of the Busoga kingdom, if you tell the king to come and pick that the cows, it is utter disrespect. Uh, uh, even the president, uh, when he was represented by the vice president, he was able to donate his 20 cows, but also the vice president went, went ahead to, to bring the cows which she had to give to the Chabazinga, but not telling him to pick them. Let me first give you the tape as Jess Kwarupo was representing Geno Museveni and how he was able to deliver his 20 cows. Here's the tape. I have come here in two capacities, but the second uh, reason why I'm here, His Excellency General Yorika Guta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda, sent me with his message. So he asked me, Your Grace, Your Eminence, and Your Highness, to emphasize the point of unity and interconnectedness as kingdoms and as people of Africa. And finally, he said that as an African parent, he has also participated in raising you, Your Highness, and he still wants to continue being a parent to you, Your Highness, and therefore, he has offered you 20 cows, which is a custom, a custom according to him, to welcome the incoming bride. Because he is on your side, your highness, as your parent. So he's welcoming the bride with 20 cows, which I have brought. And he said it is called Oklavuchira. And I would now like to ask for your authority your to hand over the 50 cows. But in my capacity also as a Mutesi, your, uh, your Highness, the Mutesi of Bugweri, who is from Teso, yeah. I came with physical cows, two, two physical cows. I'm told they are, they are grazing somewhere, yeah. the, 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 the other eastern side. And I came with two because, your Highness, your Highness, the children must drink milk. So you see the difference. Genome 7 knew what to do. Yet, his son never knew what to do. It further shows two things. One, Genome 7, uh, Genome Hose is inept about our, our culture, his oblivion of what takes, takes place in the country. Two, it also shows that his handlers know nothing about Uganda. Because an event of that magnitude, at least you must know the culture and knows. You, I cannot attend a, a, a conference of let me say uh, Catholics when I'm a Muslim at least I must do some background check about Catholics so that I don't mess up when I go there the same can be uh, attributed to when I'm a, a Muslim is attending uh, maybe a Protestant uh, conference you must do some background check but he failed on this of course that's my opinion you can also tell me what you think by commenting on this video thank you very much for listening if this is your first time on this YouTube channel i employ you to subscribe like and comment so that i can be motivated to do more of such videos i'll see you on another one peace